because here, as was announced by Fox News on last Thursday, Russia now, being equal with Saudi Arabian oil output, whenever they can produce eight times more than in Saudi Arabia, 90 billion barrels of recoverable oil announced officially by the Coastal and Geodetic Service of the USGS and Fox News on last Thursday, this is going to make Russia one of the major contenders of the world, both financially in oil. We're going to have another great Cold War. They're going to turn around, destroy the Middle East culture, utterly decimate it, and build new cultures in Indonesia and Russia. And this, to me, is so startling. I hate to even think about what could take place. Now, the CEO of ExxonMobil, and you go back up and look this up for yourself, said on May the 3rd of 08, he said, quote, crude oil should be $50 a barrel. Now, that was May the 3rd of 08. How did he know that? How did the man that called me know it? Why did they both have the identical same figure? The reason they did, because both of them know the same boardrooms behind the same closed doors, and they know exactly what it is that they plan to do. Then, oh, my goodness, Alex, I hope, I, I don't know how to even reckon this. Then he said to me, he said, Chaplain Williams, uh, he, he said, John McCain is our man. He went from, it was, it was rather odd how he went from subject to subject because he was very friendly and talkative with me. And he said, John McCain is our man. And at that point, oh, my goodness, my mind was running so fast. And I thought to myself, what are they going to do? Now, he didn't say that they were going to bring crude oil to $50 a barrel before the election. He did not say that. I asked him, and he wouldn't admit it. He wouldn't say it. They're going to do something, I gather, just before the election to be assured that their man gets in office. And he said, whatever it takes, we will try everything possible to see to it that he gets into office. And John McCain is their man for what it's worth. Why? And I'm not saying who I'm for or who I'm against. I'm just saying that's what the man said. Then I ask him the question, in light of all of this, $50 a barrel oil, you're going to open up these two major oil fields. Uh, these countries will become rich and great as the Arabs are today. You're going to totally decimate the Arabs. You're going to put them back into nomads roaming the deserts riding camels. You're going to change the whole world around and make Russia a great power again. I said, what can the United States of America expect at this point? And I'm going to try my best to tell you exactly what he said. He said, Lindsay, the United States of America is going to see a financial collapse that is going to be so great that it will take years for it to come out of it. Now, please note these words. Because over the next 15 minutes, he talked with me for about an hour and 15 minutes. And when he finished, over that last 15 minutes, he kept saying it over and over and over. He repeated it. It is going to take years for the United States of America to come out of this. And I asked him the question. I said, are you talking about a 1929 depression? He wouldn't admit to that. He would not say that. He said, I am saying that America is going to see a financial collapse that will be so great that it will take years for it to come out of it. Now, there are a lot of things that we could read between the lines in all of this. I've tried my best to tell you just what I think, uh, to the best of my knowledge, may look like, but I've told you exactly to the best that I could what they have planned. And with these things in light, uh, I decided that I had to tell the American people what I know. Even though you're and under... as a result, have been willing to appear on a few radio talk shows here in Yon and have just finished producing a DVD entitled The Next 12 Months. I decided I had to give it out and give the basic points and then let you go from there as to what you think. So we've just completed this past week a DVD, approximately an hour long, entitled The Next 12 12 months. Now, I had to do something else also. In order to even have an Energy Non-Crisis DVD, which I've had for years in my book, Energy Non-Crisis, we had to go back and take certain things out of it. Uh, and you'll know whenever you look at the new 2008 version of my Energy Non-Crisis DVD, you'll know what it is that I can't talk about anymore because you'll notice those things are missing. But the other things we left in, 
And he told me very upfront. Why? Why, why are they saying it's okay for you to say one area but not the other? Oh, very easily. And here's the reason why, Alex. They have no intentions whatsoever of allowing any American oil fields to be produced. Alaska, that huge oil field up in Montana, the one in Utah, they have no intentions of allowing any of this to be developed. America is going to be kept dependent on foreign oil. And what I say in my book uh, about Alaskan oil stay there. and the things that you've there. Stay there. we got to break. We're going to talk behind scenes. But bottom line, they build up Russia and China, give them unlimited oil, turn us off. We're totally in debt. We implode. Third world police state. We'll get your take on that summation right now. Okay, do we have Stan, uh, Stan Monteith? Yeah, I'm calling right now. Okay, we're going to get him on after this break, but this is still on air for the Internet, uh, uh, Pastor Lindsey Williams. Um, this is this is amazing because I know you gave accurate info the last 15 years. I know that you're telling the truth and that, and that these are high-powered people you're involved with, and I believe you've been threatened. And uh, it actually makes perfect sense, the diabolical. And the, I've always said the New Order throws curveballs, and we're certainly going to find out if he's right or he's putting out this info, uh, you know, this guy that's feeding him this information, but it was always accurate in the past. We'll find out in the next 12 months is what you're saying, Lindsay, because, because we keep getting back to that. He wouldn't tell you when it was happening, but you're saying the next 12 months. Uh, how do you come he to that? give me a date. Well then, how do you, well, then how do you say the next 12 months? I, I think that we can see, I, I'm quite sure we're going to see this $50 a barrel oil begin to develop. We may have already Okay, so from the info you have, you are drawing that, that, that conclusion. I'm drawing the conclusion that I'd like to tell people within the next 12 months everything that I know that they have to look forward to in the future. All right, well, all the big economic experts we have on agree it could happen in the next... 18 months to 36 months, um, this implosion. And then they say it'll run up through hyperinflation and dive into basically a debt economy with nothing but debt and plunging prices, but the currency destroyed. I, I mean, is that the info you're getting? Yes, very definitely, that the currency is on its way out. Now, whenever they take it to $50 a barrel, the Arab world can no longer buy our T-bills and our uh, yeah. Federal Reserve issues. That's it, yeah. They have to dump their reserve currency, which is the American dollar, and dump it trillions of dollars at a time overnight in order to maintain their economies. It is going to collapse the American dollar, and every bit of that is in perfect line to bring in the North American Union to, and to issue a new currency. Yes, which they need, which in their own documents, uh, they admit that they want to remonetize the debt under a new North American Union currency, and they also said in the Security and Prosperity Partnership meetings that, we, that Judicial Watch sued and got that they plan to use economic terrorist and military crises and that they would then say that the North American Union was the answer to that and that security and prosperity partnership to give us that security and to quote give us prosperity to get the economy going again that the SPP will be the new bubble or the new Ponzi scheme uh, that they launch that is offered as the solution but that he was telling you it's not going to be a solution they, they plan a long uh, de-evolution of our economy and our culture that is exactly right. In fact, this is the tool that they will use to accomplish what they want, Alex. The very thing that you've been intimating about for a long time, but all he did was gave me the intricate tools by which they plan to do it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we're going to come in with Monteith. Are you ha can you stay with us another 30 minutes? Gladly. Okay, good. Well, we'll just take you right to the end. That's about 37 minutes, uh, exactly 37 minutes. We're going to be back on the main transmission in one minute. Everybody watching on the web, we're going to post the audio of this up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, TruthNews.us, PrisonPlanet.tv, JonesReport.com, all of our websites. We want you to get this audio, this vital interview, because this is different from some of the others. It's bringing in a lot of other integrated information for a big picture, uh, three-dimensional overlay of what we're facing. Lindsay, fire out, uh, because you said you shut down the other site. What is the new site where people can get the new DVD? Please call 800-321-2900. Ask for my new Energy Non-Crisis 2008 DVD. And the next 12 months, I would urge you, for those of you who don't have what's happening to the farmers, get my entire set of eight DVDs at very reasonably priced. I only have 600 energy non-crisis left, 
and we will never reprint. I do not plan on reprinting. All right, let me just tell you right now. I left for 600 people that call Hold me on. free of charge as a gift. Wow. Well, I, I, I want to buy some of those before you get rid of them, so save me a few uh, for the Infowars.com uh, bookstore. Here we go. Dr. Stan Monteith joins us for the next 34, 35 minutes that we have left in live airtime. Syndicated radio talk show host, uh, medical doctor, expert on every facet of the New World Order. He broadcasts himself five hours a day. And uh, last time I checked, it may be more or less now. And he is on, uh, isn't it close to 100 stations total around the country, Dr. Monteith? Well, we have 65 outlets, but some of those are 63 outlets, I think, and some of them are shortwave, some are internet. Some well, are I know they go up and down from time to time. You have been, you have been 100 affiliates, because I remember that number before. 